this video is sponsored by NordVPN. So you can go to nordvpn.com slash gb and get 75% off three years. That makes it $2.99 a month for secure internet shopping, browsing, usage. NordVPN has servers in over 61 countries and counting thousands of servers to choose from. There's absolutely no data logging and they have military grade encryption. So you can log on to different servers depending on what you're using your VPN for. And trust me, there are a wide variety of uses for why you might want a VPN, which I linked in the description box below. But if you would like to check them out, take your internet security to the next level, maybe access some things that you couldn't access before, please be sure to check them out at nordvpn.com slash gb. And if you use the code gb, you get an extra month free. So go to nordvpn.com slash gb and get your three years 75% off, so that's $2.99 a month, and use code GB for that extra free month. Thank you so much, Nord, for sponsoring this video, and I hope you enjoy. Greetings! I see that you are new to the island of Gilinor. It's my job to greet all newcomers, so, uh, welcome. Is this your first time here, or are you making another pass around? Okay, okay. Well, the first thing I'm going to need to know is your name. Go ahead. Pick anything you like. Anything at all. Uh-huh. Okay. It is so nice to meet you. LX Anime God X. Would you like to customize your appearance? You're looking a little, um, bleh. Okay, great. Let me show you what I have. We'll start from the top. Let's, uh, get that hair situated. I have a few options for you. Let me see. Okay. What about a healthy golden blonde? Not for you. Yeah, that's fine. Just throw it away. How about... Ooh. A curly, ashy color. Hmm, we'll see what else we got. I get it. Alright. You want to go more neutral. We have this deep, deep brown, almost black color. Straight, long, This is a fantasy world after all, so why don't we give you something a little spicy? I have just the thing. Ah, here we go. Red. That's what I thought. Okay, we'll get this spitted on you. Right away. Perfect. Ooh. Man, that looks, uh, mm-hmm. Okay, moving down. Okay, your outfit is a little lacking. But let me see what I've got in my closet here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. May I interest you in this beautiful pink number? It's got some nice puff sleeves. Okay, I'll show you what else I've got, no problem. How about a white tunic brown trim? You won't be standing out in this. I understand. On the comfier side, albeit a bit neutral, we have uh, this cozy number. Hmm. Well, I think you might like this then. This black tunic with ties on the front. It's 
got a nice collar. It really screams, take me seriously. That's what I thought. All right, this is for you then. Go ahead and put that on. Let's see uh, how it looks. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. Now, in terms of uh, footwear, what do you think? Um, are you small boot? You know what? I, I didn't think so. You are absolutely a big boot type of person. I should have known, but uh, let's get you fitted with these. There we go. I'm just gonna put both of them on. You don't want just one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looking good. Looking good. So, um, I must ask you, would you like any <laughs> facial hair? A mustache, perhaps? I don't know. It could look very distinguished. Well, honestly, you look great. Let me talk a little bit about um, things that you can do, things that are in your control. Use the arrow keys to move the camera from side to side. Oh, too far. Too far. Right in the back. Okay. Mm -mm. Stay with me here. A little too far there. <laughs> you can use the settings to customize even more options, like changing your screen brightness. Okay, okay. You can go dimmer as well. Okay. You can also change music volume. All right. Shh, shh. We have neighbors. Perfect. Okay. Among other things and customizations that you probably won't touch or care about. All right. Now, I'm going to teach you some survival skills. How else are you going to make it in this world, truly? That's what I'm here for. So, let's start you off with something easy. The first skill I want you to look at is fishing. Here is a small fishing net. I want you to take this net and you're going to go to that little pond over there and I want you to try and catch some shrimp. Go ahead. Put your net in the water. Not so hard, right? You did it. Good job. Skills can be leveled up by earning experience, which is gained by performing various activities like you just did. You are well on your way to leveling up your fishing skill. As you level up your skills, you will learn new unlocks, so you'll be able to catch even more things. The next skill we should work on then is your woodcutting. And you'll want to do this because then you can work on your fire making skills and then your cooking skills. See, it all ties together. So, what I'm going to have you do is put your shrimp into your inventory. This is your bag that you'll carry around with you. It's not a purse. It's take it. Put the shrimp inside. Okay. I don't know if you're ready for this, but uh, I want you to try leveling up your woodcutting skills. One of the most intense skills in all of RuneScape, but something I think you might actually enjoy. All right, well, here is your axe, and all you have to do is go over to that tree and give it a whack. Whack it. I am so proud of you. You got those logs. Oh, let me see. Okay. Now, do you know what we're going to do with these logs? That's right. We're going to set them ablaze. So, to do that, 
I want you to use this. This is your tinder box. It's going to make starting fires very simple. Put these two together and let's see what you can make. Uh-huh. Light. You almost got it. You can do it. There you go. Wow. What a nice blazing fire. So take those shrimp out of your inventory and try to cook them. Go ahead. Oh. oh. You... Stop. You burn them. You burn them. Okay? No matter. I'll help you out, okay? I'll help you out. There you go. Okay. And when you level up your cooking skills, you can learn to make fancier things like breads, pies, and cakes, but, uh, I do not think you're a natural at this, so we'll, we'll move on. Let's talk about quests. So, you're interested in doing quests, aren't you? Of course you are. Let's start by opening your quest journal. Any quest that is written in red is an incompleted quest. So far, you have done zero quests. But that's okay. You can read up on them in the journal, and they can tell you what to expect and where to start. This can vary from collecting beads to hunting down dragons. Once you start a quest, it will turn yellow, and completed quests will be listed in green. Oh, well, doing quests will reward you with all types of things, so you'll definitely want to check this out. Go ahead, give it a read. Yes, to do the fun quests, you'll most likely need a weapon. But don't worry, you can make weapons yourself. Don't panic. It's not as hard as it sounds. Jeez, fine, 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 fine. I'll do it for you. Listen. He's looking. I've got a steel long sword. I'm looking to, uh, you know, get rid of. I can give it to you for just a few G. What do you think? And yeah, get the purse out. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need a little more. A little more than that. Come on. Keep it coming. Mm -hmm. That's better. Okay. Now, if anyone asks, this did not come from me. Um, well, you're a few combat levels below being able to legally wield this. What do you think? Yeah, worth the price. Go ahead. Feels nice, right? Powerful. Yeah, you're looking pretty good. So, with each weapon there are different types of attacks and that will earn you different types of experience. So, you can stab, lunge, slash, block, well, with the long sword, it's not going to be a stab, it's going to be a, a chop. Now that's very accurate, and that's going to help with your attack experience. If you do more of a, a lunge or a slash, that's very aggressive and will boost your strength experience. A block, of course, will then boost your defense experience. What do you think? Not bad, right? Why don't you go, uh, attack those giant rats over there? What do you mean they didn't do anything to you? Who cares? You can kill them, pick up their bones, and then bury them in the ground for prayer experience. What? It's legit. Oh, whatever. You can bank your items, too, of course. Is there anything you'd like to deposit? 
Your burnt shrimp. Thank you. Thank you. I will take very good care of this. You can switch worlds, too. Um, each world holds up to 2,000 people, and you can meet all sorts of different folks. Would you like to switch worlds now? <laughs> you can't go to that world. It's members only. <laughs> Peasant. Finally, are you ready to learn some magic? We'll start you off a little bit easy. These are runes. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, one of the first attack types we can teach you is the wind strike. So you're going to need an air rune and a mind rune. And this will create a very basic air missile that you can use to uh, do some damage. Why don't you take these and I want you to... Let's, let's maybe try attacking that chicken. Could you do that for me? Did that chicken do anything to you? It looked at you funny. Alright, go ahead and do a nice wind strike on that chicken. Well, I think you are as ready as you'll ever be. When you get to the mainland, you will find yourself in the town of Lumbridge. Um, if you want some ideas on where to go next, there are guides stationed all around. Or you could, uh, you know, just, just wing it. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm about to transport you to Lumbridge. Is there anything else you'd like to do or learn on this island? I've covered pretty much everything. Okay, here we go then. You will never ever see me again. Goodbye. Good luck.